guys you welcome hope you guys are feeling good hello brother and sister in islam i'm your brother in islam husseini al khadim malaysia in alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla la wa may yudlil fala hadiya la ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa ba'du may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us shower his mercy upon us and forgive all our sins today inshallah we are going to share with you a topic that is important for all muslims is about islam the misunderstood religion islam is a religion that belong to allah because allah said in ad-din indallah al-islam indeed the religion in the sight of allah is islam islam do not belong to me don't belong to you now this is the first thing that we must understand number one what is islam the meaning of islam is total submission to almighty allah number one number two islam mean peace and number three islam means security yes. that mean if anybody accept islam his life is secure here in dunya mm. and also will be secure in akhirah mean the security that islam provide us is not only for dunya but also for akhirah that means for here after now after we understand that islam is a religion belong to allah why there is so many people outside is always having negative feeling and thoughts about islam because they don't understand what is islam and i don't blame them because we as muslim or so called born muslim don't even understand islam mm. now you must remember islam don't belong to you or me it belong to allah meaning is important for every one of us to differentiate islam and muslim i am a muslim every brother and sister is watching this bro you are a muslim muslim mean we accept islam not islam follow us we follow islam there's a lot of difference between the people and the teaching mm-hmm. when people say anything negative about the muslim we just got to bear it we got to listen because what they say may be correct may be true because we are not perfect sometimes we show bad example but if anybody criticize islam we cannot just keep, keep quiet. quiet because islam is the perfect religion of allah there is nothing wrong with islam if there's something wrong it's the muslim yeah it's to be blamed not islam so don't let anybody misinterpret islam and muslim you can say to anybody who who condemn muslim say maybe muslim but they are bad and they are good but don't allow anybody to criticize islam when i become a muslim the same thing my family they don't understand islam yet the same go to me i don't understand islam though because i'm new to islam but i'm very uh, blessed that allah give me hidayah that i do not come to islam because of the people mm. because of the muslim none of the muslim call me to islam but allah give me hidayah to come to islam through my little initiative to look for the truth if i become a muslim because of the people i may just leave islam because of the people because the muslims sometimes show very very bad example but i got to admit that being a muslim you must be true to yourself and true to others mm-hmm. but when people criticize islam i would never allow that because i said brother sister i mean to the people who are not yet muslim if you say the muslim is bad i can agree with you no big deal but if you want to criticize islam i said no i won't allow you to do so have you understand islam have you read the quran have you read the saying of the prophet if you read the quran you will never criticize islam so now you must understand between islam and muslim mm. so you don't call yourself i am islam no 
You cannot say, I am Islam. You say, I am a Muslim. Waqala innani minna muslimin. Correct. You say, I am Islam. You are wrong. Islam belongs to Allah. It's a religion, not you. You are just a follower. That is number one. Number two, it's very important for us to differentiate between race and religion. Sometimes it becomes so complicated. Sometimes a lot of people who don't understand Islam, they always relate Islam with the Arabs. This is also wrong. In my country, maybe they will relate Islam with Malay. Also, it's not correct. Or maybe in India or Pakistan, you relate Islam with the Indian or relate Islam with the Turkish, you Turkish, and you relate Islam with the Pakistani. It's not correct. A race is a race. Allah is the one who created all mm -hmm. races. He said, وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا is Allah who makes us into nation and tribe. So all nations belong to Allah. Whether you are Chinese or Indian, whether you are white or colored, all of us came from one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you must remember the history. Before Islam, Arabs, they are pagans. They are mushrikeen. They worship idols. Now the Arab, they become Muslim. They become Muslim, they enter to Islam. That is correct. Malay, enter Islam. That is correct. Indian, enter Islam. That is correct. Chinese, enter Islam. That is correct. But don't make Islam become an Arab religion. That is wrong. Don't make Islam like a Malay religion. That is wrong. Or an Indian or Pakistani or Turkish should not. Because Islam belongs to Allah. We can follow Islam. Islam don't follow us. So you must make sure you understand the difference between number one, Islam and Muslim. Number two, between race and religion. Because we are confused. When we are confused, you make other people confused. I know being a Muslim, I have been a Muslim for more than 30 years already. I know how confused sometimes the people who are not yet Muslim. But it's our duty to make them understand. If you don't make it them understand, then you don't blame them yeah, when they have negative thoughts toward Islam. But you are to be blamed. That's why we are here to remind each other the misunderstood religion on Islam is because we do not present Islam correctly. And because of our culture, again, yeah, make people more confused. There are people may think that when you become a Muslim, you must dress like the Arab. No, the Prophet never said you should dress like me. The Prophet said just cover your aura. How you want to cover your aura is up to you, as long as you cover your aura. Beautiful Islam. Is open for everybody. Can a Chinese become a Muslim and dress Chinese dress, Chinese costume? Why not? As long as it's covered in aura. Can an Indian who become a Muslim keep his tradition and dress like uh, the Indian costume? As long as it's covered in aura. There's nothing wrong with the material. It's how you cover yourself. If you say that, oh, to be a good Muslim, you must dress like the Arab. Abu Lahab, Abu Jahal also dressed like the Arab. What is the difference? What is important is not how you dress, but is you must cover your aura. I'll give you another example. When a person become a Muslim, do you think that he must only eat with his bare hand? Yeah, the Prophet said, eat with your right hand. The Prophet never said, you must eat with your bare hand. You cannot use chopstick, you cannot use spoon or spoke, no. As long as you are right. The Prophet said, La taklu bishimal. Ula tashrabu bishimal. Don't eat, don't drink with your left, but with your right. Fa inna shaitan yakulu wa yashrabu bishimal. Because shaitan eat and drink with the left hand. As long as you use the right, there's no problem. But there are times people, I encounter people who say that, if you eat with chopstick, that means you are like a kufar. Now, how can 
We say that because a Chinese, an Indian, or Malay, or Arab, all are Allah's creation. Allah said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ With the sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, I made you speak different language and different color. All the color, the different culture, the different language, is Allah's creation. Allah said that. He never said that. When you become Muslim, you cannot speak English, you cannot speak Tamil, you cannot speak Chinese. It's a language that Allah created. Only when you pray to Allah in salawat, then Allah wants you to talk to Him in the language that He chooses, that is in Arabic. But other languages still belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same goes to any culture that do not contradict Islam. It's been accepted by Islam as Islamic culture. Not only must follow the Arabic culture, only Islamic. No, even the Arabic culture, if it contradicts, you must stay away. There's one time in the Arabs' tradition, that if they got a baby girl, they prefer to bury the baby girl alive because that is their custom. That custom cannot be applied anymore because it's un-Islamic. But any culture that do not contradict, you're welcome to show us that how beautiful Islam is. Islam cater for everybody. Islamic culture is a multi-culture because it's for everybody. We cannot say that, oh, you must follow the Indian way, the Pakistani way, the Malay way, the Arab. No, you follow the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also one area that people always misunderstood Islam. When we talk about Islamic law, example, people used to relate to, this is Muhammadan law. No. Please, never say that Islamic law is Muhammadan law. Because if you say Muhammadan law, that means you are talking about that the divine law is something that Prophet Muhammad, who created it, not from Allah. Inshallah. So, it makes us understand the misunderstanding when it comes to Islam. So, you just gave us the background, everything we need to know about Islam, what Islam is all about, the definition of Islam, so total submission to God, and the difference between, you know, Islam and Muslim. If you see somebody doing the wrong thing, that doesn't mean you should condemn the religion. The person doing the wrong thing doesn't mean every other person is doing the wrong thing. Just imagine you have children and somebody did the wrong thing. You will correct the person that did the wrong thing. You cannot generalize it and say, ah, this, this, this. You can't call your four children and say they are the one that fault. Or let's say you just want to blame them so that you can both, you want to punish them equally. But you have to punish the person that, you know, does anything wrongly. So if a Muslim do anything wrongly, Punish a person personally. Don't generalize it and say, because this person did the wrong thing, that means the religion is corrupt. That means the religion is a bad religion. That means the religion is this, is that, is full of this, is full of, you know, we know all the names they call Islam out there. Violence, terrorism, this and that, and that and that, because of some people that they do contrary to what, you know, the Quran says, or they don't really follow no, out of anger or, you know, it, God knows, maybe out of anger they, they did something wrongly, then everybody not generalize that. Islam, no, you said Muslim, the Muslim man, the mu uh, here, as I said, the religion is for God. Why the Muslims are the followers? It made mention of so many points. The reason why Islam is a peaceful one, Islam is the true religion, Islam is, so, you know, is from God. And why people misunderstood or why people misunderstand the religion, which is not supposed to be. Let me know your point of view in the comment box. Let's keep the discussion going, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.